The concept of this video is very simple. I want to get a bloodhound, and I'm going to do a bunch of clues to get a bunch of masters to try to get the bloodhound. Believe it or not, easy clues are something that I've never really done too much on this account. Uh, I actually don't think I've done them at all on this account. I have one clue scroll completed. So at least don't have quite as good of a drop rate on masters, but I get to fill in some slots in a different collection log as well. So might as well do it. I've bought 12,500 implings, which should give me around 500 easy clues, and I have a few more in the bank just in case I don't get there. So let's get started. Well, there's our first 100 easy clues down. Honestly, no problem so far. After building the stash units, which <laughs> kind of took a little while, I guess, this hasn't been bad at all. I'm not sure if I'm going to make my money back, but eh, who cares? There's easy clue number 200. Probably just go straight to 500 from here. If you ever catch me on this game, I am always listening to music or podcasts, and quality is key. That's why I'm happy to say the sponsor of today's video is Raycon. Comfort is a huge priority for me when I'm gaming, and especially when I'm editing, which is why I love Raycon's products so much. They come with a bunch of different gel tips, making them perfect for everyone, and they don't stick out of your ears at all. If you're more of an on-the-go person, or just forgetful, like I am, they have a 32-hour battery life, so you won't have to worry about charging them often. On top of all of that, they start at half the price of other premium audio brands while having the same high-quality listening experience. If for whatever reason you're not happy with the product, they have a 45-day happiness guarantee. So if you want to support me, make sure you go to the link on screen, buyraycon.com LSG, or click it down in the description below to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. All right, there we go. That is the 500th easy casket, so I can finally clear out all these bank fillers here. And there we go. Beautiful. Just love seeing those massive casket stacks. Now, I mentioned before, I don't have, like, any collection log slots filled for the easy tier, I think, at all. Yeah, I literally have zero. So... I'm definitely not going to show every single slot, but I'll probably show some of the more expensive items. And definitely if we manage to get some of these uh, more rare items, that'd be fantastic as well. Because I'm pretty sure there's like seven, I think it's just all the capes are just insanely rare. And then like the monk robes, wherever these are. So with the collection log pop-up, I realized this might like block the screen every time we get something new. Of course, it doesn't happen on the very first clue, but I'm not sure what to expect out of these. To be 100% honest with you, I've never really opened too many easies. Apparently I've never had a black pickaxe, so that's kind of evidence of that. But that's going to block the rewards so often whenever I get the pop-up. Wow, I really wish that uh, I had gotten this lucky on my iron accounts. 14 easy clues for the bob shirt. That would have been nice. It's like every clue. Every clue something pops up, man. Hey, there's the first master clue scroll. I think these are like 1 in 50, so I shouldn't get too many of them, uh, which I, I guess in a way does go against the idea of the series, but 10 of them is still faster than I could get these by other means. To some, there's something back there. Arma rope top 106k, and oh my god, this thing just lags because I'm getting so many new items. Ooh, what is this? This is a double new unique. Sara Dome and Robe Legs and what is this? Black Cane? It'd be a lot easier if I could click the items under the giant pop-up, but hey, I'll take two new items. Something something pretty valuable in there. The Black Wizard Hat G 393k. I think that's the most expensive one we've had so far. Hey, there we go. Somehow this is actually less expensive than the hat, but uh, Black Wizard Robe G top now. Is that wow? That is the worst one so far. Will two willow short bows. That's a big clue. Bronze plate legs G, as well as another black wizard hat G. The amount of dopamine I'm getting from constantly seeing the new collection log item pop up is so amazing. Another black wizard hat G, dude. These things are pretty expensive. Like they're like three hundred, yeah, three hundred ninety-two k. Because these are garbage teleports. I'll take as many of these as I can get. I'm gonna make my money back at this rate. I think that's the full set. Unfortunately, we somehow already have a duplicate piece of Elegant, but that's that's the full Black Wizard uh, G set. Hey, Arma Robe Legs. I thought we had those earlier. Maybe we had the top earlier or something, but... Okay. 
What is that? You're telling people actually will wear, not only wear a leather body G, but they will pay 176,000 coins for that? No way. Let's play body G now, which is 167k. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to sell this stuff because I don't think people will actually buy this. People might buy that though. Blue Wizzy Robe G, we'll take that. Whoa. That's insanely expensive. What the heck? I was sitting over here hoping for a cape or a monk robe uh, G piece, but Amulet of Power trimmed is apparently 1 million coins? Why? Ooh, that's a big one. Zimrock Robe Top, 304k. I think that's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back clues with new items. That's amazing. Another Black Wizzy Robe G, 280k. I'm really starting to feel like I'm going to genuinely profit from this. Kind of exciting. Ooh, that is definitely good stuff. Ham joint, 3 million GP. That's probably one of the most expensive items from Easy Clues, actually, aside from the cloaks, which I imagine are worth a lot more, but 3 million coins, I will definitely take that. What? What? That's the same invent- Look at the hand joints right there! I just got another one! What the heck are the chances of that? So, I'm pretty confident that we definitely made our money back. We just got two hand joints in one inventory and a black wizard hat trimmed on the start of the next one. Easy clues are great. Why have I not done these before? These are genuinely really fun to open. Big money items like flared trousers. That is a big money item, dude. What is that? 250 on the nose. 250 clues on the nose. Look at what these things are worth. 2.9 million GP. What the heck? I remember when these were like 500k. I get it there for a master clue. I understand, but this is the luck that every Iron Man wants. Bob shirt trousers everything you need in 250 easy clues god oh there it is i said i wanted to get one of these two items and we did well i mean there's like seven items that i really said i wanted to get but a piece of the monk robe g outfit these are astronomically rare and if i remember correctly these are actually the rarest items from all of easy clue scrolls including the capes so that is amazing and it's worth you know a cool 1.2 mil as well don't know why anyone would buy this, but I mean, I, I guess fashion for some people, but that's a nice slot filled in. Ooh, wooden shield G. I don't know if that's particularly rare, but we haven't had one yet, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> this is like, first of all, blue elegant shirt's nice. Elegant's pretty rare, I, I think, if it works the same way as mediums. But another <laughs> black wizzy hat G. There's no way I will ever... Oh my god, there's no way I will ever top this luck for easy clue scrolls. I don't know why I haven't opened these before. These are amazing. Oh, there it is. We finally, I shouldn't say finally. I don't think we're even at the rate. First of all, this is an amazing easy clue. A Zami page, which is probably worth pretty much nothing. Yeah, those are worth like nothing now. These used to be like a mil each. Leather body G, which we discovered earlier is worth something. And a team cape zero. That is just... Oh, that is 4.7 mil. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. There is no way. In, there's just absolutely no way we have lost money doing this. I think I've made money just from the clues, not even selling the impling loot bag. Ooh, blue wizard hat trimmed and ancient rope top. Another double. I'm surprised we're still even able to get double uniques this deep in. Into a Sarodome and a rope top. That's a big one. 247k. All right, very nice. Ooh, green elegant legs and pantaloons. Okay, okay. This is phenomenal. I cannot wait to see how many log slots we have filled in by the end of this. This is just so much dopamine, man. This keeps me humble. Coming down to the last handful of caskets here. Let's see if we can get anything big or anything unique in the last few. This is 200. Are these really that expensive? Okay, yeah, they are. Wow. Hey, we did get another unique, a piece of black plate legs G, very nice. Into blue elegant legs, all right, you know what? I can't ask for really anything more in this opening, but I'm still getting a leather chaps G, let's go. 
I've had so many uniques and so many valuable items, man. Just, just absolutely insane. Alright, just a couple left. This is actually going to be clue number 500. And you know what? We got ourselves another Bob shirt as well as the large spade, which is the easy clue unique or, I don't know, capstone thing. I'm not really sure what to call it, but the thing you get for doing a certain amount of clues, we have it. Very nice. And the last casket. All right, you know, you <laughs> can't really can't really expect to get much, but man, there is so much in here. So much in here. So I'm going to go sell off all of this and uh yeah, I guess we'll we'll see where we end up. Would you believe me if I said I almost forgot the entire point of opening these was to actually get these master caskets that I Definitely didn't forget about until I ran all the way to the Grand Exchange. <laughs> you know what? Let's open the Master Clues. Starting off strong with some uh, Robe Bottoms of Darkness. You know what? I don't... I should probably check how many Master Uniques we have. Alright, so it looks like we have 34 out of 49 of the non-Mega Rare stuff. They, they've changed up the way the Collection Log works for this. It's a little weird because they have mega rare stuff in a different tab now but uh, hopefully we can at least get one new unique that'd be very nice then of course we'll check the easy treasure trail collection log because i forgot to do that too wait back to back row bottoms of darkness interesting that's just terrible hood of darkness you know we're just gonna get the whole set why not just give me the whole set. Alright, my bank is actually full because of all the stuff we got from Easy Clues, so let's hope we can make this work. Master Clue number 400. And, uh, you know, almost halfway, I guess. Not even almost. We're getting to halfway the Bloodhound drop rate. Be really cool to pick that bad boy up soon. Alright, 25 Mimic KC. We're really starting to get up there. Let's see what we get. It's not bad at all. 478k, 600 death runes is definitely not a bad extra roll. And the next blue scroll, we get ourselves an Arma God Sword Ornament Kit. Unfortunately, I already have that. Despite the God Sword Kits being fairly rare. But uh, so that kind of sucks. But we are pretty deep into Masters, so getting dupes isn't that crazy. And another Mimic. This is our last chance to get the Bloodhound in this episode. Mimic? 500 blood runes is a fantastic extra reward, but it's not the bloodhound. And 405 master clues gives us, unfortunately, nothing new. All right, now let's take a look at that easy clue collection log. All right, so we went from 0 to 82 items. That is incredible. Honestly, there's still a lot of items to go for, so I definitely want to open easy clues again. I mean, like... Obviously, excluding the Mega Rare items, there's still a huge chunk of items we're missing out on here. And Elegant's going to take a while to get to, I, I suppose, but... Man, even with how good this opening felt, we still have some huge steps to finishing this one out. So maybe we'll work at doing it again. For now, though, let's sell off the loot. You know it's a rough life for some clue uniques when... Uh... <laughs> I have this in for one coin. Literally no one in the entire game is buying this item. That's just awful. Well, aside from these items that, like, literally don't sell for- Oh, wait, no, I sold one steel pickaxe for one GP, which is <laughs> kind of hilarious. Uh, 40 million coins is pretty nuts. Of course, while I'm talking about this on screen now, it's going to be the easy clue and eventually the master clue loot. But this went really, really well. I think I started with around 23 mil or something like that from the actual implings and ended up with 40. So even if you discount the loot from the master clues and the couple of really expensive items we got from easies, you should still at the very least break even doing this and filling up tons of collection log slots, which is really surprising to me. I expected to lose all of it. So you know what? I'm really happy with that. I really enjoyed doing these easy clues. It was a blast getting tons of items that I'm not used to getting. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next Road to Bloodhound episode. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next one. How you want me to get the master clues. Obviously, I'm right now trying to buy clue scrolls as much as I can. Because 
to me it, it's thematic. But maybe we'll do an episode with tons of bossing or something to get the masters. Peace out and have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody.